I was adopted into that family. I found out now through circumstances that the reason why I was brought in is when my mom contracted tuberculosis at the schools. She got sent to Nanaimo General TB Hospital and they experimented on them unethically. And when they were finished with them, they, they sterilized them. And it was a big source of shame. We didn't even know how to talk about it. But ever since all these residential school unmarked graves have been uncovered, it seems to be a common theme that went right through that. I think it was a lot more horrific than people had were led to believe. Because my mother got sterilized, the, my dad's chieftainship in that village, it's been there from the beginning of time, was important to the old people. And my dad was brainwashed, whatever, from the residential school. He wanted nothing to do with the culture. So my grandparents, Louisa, um, my other grandmother, Mary, Anita, they called her, with her photographic memory of all the things cultural that was suppressed and outlawed, they started to download on me. I don't I didn't meet my grandfather who I inherited the chieftainship from. He died before I was born. But I know all about him because they told so many stories. And he was married to Louisa Kuhn, high ranking family from Guilford. And that where we got a lot of our dances was brought over by her into our family. Um, I used to be uh, babysat by her while my mother worked and my dad was working. And that was my life between that and fishing. There wasn't much else for the longest time. Because I got brought up, brought up by my grandparents, I, I didn't speak much English till just before grade one. I don't look at myself as an authority of it, but in light of all the suppression of it all, I guess I do have some piece of the puzzle that others don't because I was taught straight from the old people, not from the books or the ledgers or from Boaz or anyone else. And, and um, my mission statement is always just to be who I am and not be ashamed of what we are still doing it and I think my grandparents would be proud because they put all their hopes in, in me. Not only me but my generation, all the grandchildren, all the chiefs that you see there about my age, they were, all went through that. 